In this video, we want to do some questions using Intermediate Value Theorem or IVT. The first question is this. Use IVT to show that there is a solution for this equation here in the interval 0 to 1. So we want to prove that somewhere between 0 and 1, e to the x is equal to 3 minus 2x. Before doing this question, let me remind you briefly the IVT theorem and how we can use it to do such questions. To use IVT to prove that equation has a solution in the given interval, first you have to define a function f of x. And then you have to find two points like a and b that f of a is negative or positive the other one negative so you have to find two points like a and b that at one of those points the function is negative at the other one is positive then if the function f of x is continuous this is important to consider this if f of x is continuous we can use ivt to claim that there is a number c between a and b that f of c is equal to zero this is how we use intermediate value theorem to do such questions now that we went over ivt let's try this question here we are given equation but the first thing that you have to do is to move all the terms usually to the left and then name it f of x so the first thing that we are going to do is to move this to the left and then name the new equation f of x so we are going to do so we move the 2x to the left the negative 2x becomes positive 2x and 3 is going to be negative 3 equal 0 and we name this new expression this new equation something like f of x so we define f of x as e to the x plus 2x minus 3. And immediately you have to check the continuity as of this f of x in the given interval. The function e to the x plus 2x minus 3 is obviously continuous. So you have to mention that you consider this f of x is continuous now that we check the continuity of f of x you don't need to give any reasoning for that just you have to mention that f of x is continuous and why in this special case f of x is continuous because attention f of x is the sum of e to the x, which is an exponential function, and 2x minus 3, which is a polynomial function. And sum of these two functions, which each of them is continuous, is also continuous. Now that we have checked the continuity of the function f of x, we have to choose a and b. But actually, you don't need to choose any a or b here. a and b is the given interval, 0 and 1. We can choose, for example, a as 0 and b as 1. So we have to find f of 0 and f of 1. Let's see what is f of 0. If you simply plug in 0 in f of x, it would be e to the 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 3. e to the 0 is 1. 2 times 0 is 0. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And it is negative. What about f of 1? If you plug in 1 for x, it would be e to the 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 3, which would be e to the 1 minus 1. Because we know that e is 2.7 approximately, 2.7 minus 1 is 1.7. So this is positive. As you can see, at one of the points, the function is positive. At the other one, the function is negative. So somewhere between 0 and 1, the function is 0. Attention, if you have a function 
that somewhere it is negative, somewhere it is positive, then if it is continuous, definitely it crosses x-axis, which means that it would be somewhere equal to zero. And we know this based on the IVT. So now, just simply, you need to say this based on the IVT. And the, the way you have to say this is this. Now, based on IVT, there is a number like c between 0 and 1 such that f of c equals 0 and this completes the solution of this question let's do another question prove that the equation cosine x equals x has at least one real solution similar to the previous example first move everything to one side and name it f of x so first we rewrite the equation in this form cosine x minus x equals zero and we name this expression f of x but the difference between this question and the previous question is that in the previous question we had one interval zero to one and we wanted to show that the solution is between 0 and 1. But here, generally, we want to just show that this equation has a solution. But we have no idea where is that solution. Is it a negative number? Is it a positive number? We don't know where is the solution. But we want to show that there is at least one real solution. So we want to prove that somewhere this function crosses x-axis now maybe you think how we can guess or find those numbers a and b to substitute in this given function simply randomly choose numbers substitute in the function f of x but attention at one of those points that you choose the function should be positive at the other one negative then you can use ivt to claim that the function has a solution or the equation has a real solution so we want to guess numbers and don't make this complicated for yourself simply choose a random number plug in for x and find the value of f of x at that point for example maybe you think two negative two one zero other numbers and because here the question is it involves trig equation trig function you can choose numbers like pi pi over two those are also good numbers to try but i am supposing you really randomly choose a number let's say for example three so you are going to plug in three for x of course this is not the best choice but choose it randomly so what would be f of 3 it would be cosine of 3 minus 3 it is obvious that this number is less than 0 maybe you think how oh, I know this attention sine and cosine of any angle sine or cosine of any angle are always numbers between negative 1 and 1 it doesn't matter what is here if you have an something between negative 1 and 1 if we subtract 3 from that it is obvious that it would be negative so we have cosine 3 minus 3 you don't need to know the exact value of this if you have a calculator you can calculate this value but just to know that f of 3 is less than 0 is enough to use the IVT theorem now attention you want to choose a value for x that makes f of x positive do not limit yourself to choose positive numbers you can choose negative numbers for x something like negative 2 negative 3 negative 10 let's say we randomly choose negative 2 what happens then this would be cosine of negative 2 minus negative 2 this is positive 2 
Again, because this is between negative 1 and 1, if you add 2 to that, the result is positive. But the better choice, again, it's completely true and it's right to choose negative 2. But I prefer to choose another number, like 0. Let's see what is f of 0. If you plug in 0, it would be cosine of 0 minus 0. If you remember from trigonometric cosine of 0 is 1. So this would be 1 minus 0 and it equals 1, which is obviously positive. But you can choose instead of 0, negative 2, negative 5, negative 10. And all of them, those numbers make f positive. So now we have a function f of x that is continuous. Attention, you have to mention this that f of x is continuous. Otherwise, if f is not continuous, you cannot use IVT for the function. f of x is continuous. f of 3 is negative. f of 0 is positive. So you can think it like this. At 3, let's say 3 is here. The function value is negative. At 0, the function value is positive. So somewhere between 0 and 3, the function has at least one solution. So we say based on IVT, there is a number C between 0 and 3 such that F of C equals 0. This means that this function is somewhere equal to 0. And if the, this equation has a solution, this equation actually has a solution, this means that the original given equation has a solution. I hope you liked this video about IVT. If you like this video, please subscribe in my channel and see you in the next videos.